hear me okay? So today we are doing something extra special. I want to do a giveaway. So I want to say thank you to everyone who supported the shop and supported the channel. And um, it's been a real pleasure to uh, share these art moments with you and all these, you know, uh, different supplies and different techniques. And I really appreciate you using the Jackson's affiliate link and supporting the shop. It, it's it's really, um, it's meant a lot. And so I just wanted to say thank you with a giveaway. So, okay, so uh, how we're going to do it is uh, <laughs> next Saturday. So not the one coming up. So we won't do the drawing on Halloween. We'll do it next uh, week. So next Saturday and I will um, draw a winner. So the thing that is on, um, the thing that's going to be in the giveaway is this painting. So I know a lot of you love it. So I wanted to do it as a giveaway and uh, for the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment uh, under this video. So, but I want the comment to be something, um, all the comments that you guys have left me over the year have been like little treasures. They have been uh, really cherished and have given a lot of hope when, you know, it might have been uh, looking, you know, a bit troublesome. So I wanted to create kind of that little treasure trove for all of you while you're you know going through the comments or looking through the comments to leave a comment so what i'm hoping is that um, and what i'd like you to do is leave a comment that is uh like an old quote or a saying or something that you feel like um resounds with hope so something that it might be a, a painting quote it might be um you know, just a special quote that's helped you um, through your life or something like that. I just, I'd, I'd love you to leave a quote uh, a, and in the comment section so that everyone can be, you know, uplifted and, and leave the comment section a little bit rejuvenated and renewed. So that's what I'd like you to do if you want to enter the giveaway for this. And um, so subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and if you want to add an extra, um, what's it called, you know, an extra entry, then you can share this video on your social media. So if you have a Facebook, if you have an Instagram, I'll try and um, do up a photo for Instagram that you can share um, or you can just link the, you know, link the Her Billowing Heart or Her Billowing Heart Paints. Um, yeah, and if you let me know that you have shared it as well, and then that'll be an extra entry. Uh, let's see. And the other thing is that I wanted to do an extra giveaway for the person who, uh, you know, I'll, I'll look through the quotes and um, I wanted to also give away this pair. So it comes to a similar um, sort of price point as this one. Um, so I wanted to give this one away just... Um, so now's a good time to subscribe if you've been thinking about it. Uh, and then I wanted to do a separate giveaway for these, this pair uh, for someone who, you know, leaves a really nice uh, comment. So uh, those will be the two things on um, for the giveaway. And I might actually do like, I might actually give away some printables as well, maybe some uh, handwriting printables. So I think that I'll actually choose another three uh, people that will get some give some printables as well. So, um, yeah, I hope this is exciting. I wanted to do this kind of in the start of the Christmas season and the holiday season as well. I think it um, is a nice way to start the season. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. OK, 
Okay, so the extra three winners will also get one of these uh, label printables. And so you can see there, it's like a library label. And I have more info about how I've used these over on the Fisherman's Pearl Journals uh, on Heirloom Wax. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. This is something coming up, so I haven't quite finished it yet, but um, this is going to be for, let me see. So if Jane Austen was having a party, what would it be? So it would probably be like a penmanship party. So. I've done up this uh, new um, series, like a printable uh, junk journal kit, and this will be coming out next week. So, so these ones didn't. I have to realign my printer. I think that's one of the problems at the minute so I am anyway so I love this so I will send some of these printables to the winner and uh, you can have you can have a penmanship party so um, these are designed to be a travel notebook you know a um, uh, what do you call it just a, a standard size Travis notebook insert but you can also use them like as an a5 so you can you know fold them different ways and i do have an a6 coming out as well so like here is you know the standard size and I always leave like a little flap so you can make a pocket or you can leave a, you know have a flap to open up and I also put on there some dotted and diamond and squares so you can uh, put those you know put those on the back if you want if you don't want it to be blank and so you can see that that would be super pretty as an A5 as well so that's just a little sneak peek of what's coming a little penmanship party I thought that would be so nice um, and here are the okay so here are the uh, alphabet printables I realized that the paper was um, the paper sounds were a bit too loud I don't know what's wrong with this phone it I don't know if I've dropped it or you know, for some reason the bass seems really loud sometimes and I don't know, there's all sorts of weird um, sound problems, I realise that, so I am trying to work on that as best as I can. Uh, but anyway, these are the alphabet printables, so I, these took me quite a while, I had to learn uh, the pen tool in Illustrator, it was pretty difficult and um, I wanted every so where was I? So I wanted every uh, letter to be a thing of beauty in itself. So you can see they're all really beautiful letters and you know I wanted the formations to be right and it took me quite a while even for the sizing so that um, you know you can make it smaller or larger depending on your handwriting but uh, I think this is a really nice way to get the muscle memory working and to sort of start to learn the letters. Even if you've never done calligraphy before or, you know, you don't really use cursive, um, I've, I've put the arrows at the beginning of each letter so that you can see which way to, uh, you know, follow the lines to create the letters. And they're just really beautiful. So I'll give you a few examples here. And like I said, the the amount of letters here so it's good for forming muscle memory a lot of the letters share the same strokes you can also so I think I broke it up on Etsy from like A to M and then from N to Z with some extra variations I think I've done a little bit of a flip through of this on Elim Lux I'll see if I can um, link the video but I will do like an updated just me kind of writing all the letters uh, so you can see that and yeah so this is a fountain pen with really light ink in so you can't really see it but you can use anything that you want to um 
work on these letters you can use just print them out once use a pencil and uh, just keep erasing it and you know that will that that will really help as well so you can keep going over it with the pencil I think quite often when I'm uh, sort of hurrying to get my color swatch names done I kind of do a bit of a sloppier version of this but you can see it's still uh, really beautiful and then you can actually you know work a little bit more and create these really really nice letters Okay guys, so I think that's everything. Uh, leave a comment um, with something that you'll think will bright some bright. <laughs> so, so I think that's everything. So leave a comment with something that will brighten someone else's day. Uh, and I know it's been a rough year for everyone. And uh, let's see. And so do let me know if you share it and you want to. The reason that I want to uh, do the sharing is because uh, when I do a video I do quite long videos and I also do videos and some of you have asked me about this I do long videos and videos that are um, you like to come back and reference them you like to come back and uh, check the colors and you know check the techniques and everything like that so when you come back and just watch, you know, a minute or two of a 30 minute video, it brings the audience retention so far down so that it seems like, um, you know, people aren't interested in the videos and they're clicking out of them all the time. So, uh, you know, I, I, I want to still make the 30 minute videos. Like once I realized that that's what was happening, um, I was okay with that. I still want to make the long videos because I can't fit very much into the shorter, you know, videos. I can't uh, teach you enough or explain enough about what I'm doing. So I'm happy to make the longer videos, but I do need your guys' help to get the word out about the channel and to share it. So I would love um, for you to share it on any of your social media and... Uh, that will get you an extra entry into the giveaway so anyway i just wanted to say thank you again i have really appreciated um all of your really special comments and um really wonderful support this year uh, and that's why the channel's still going and it's still here and um you know also with the help of my mum and my sister as well so I really uh, have appreciated that and I and I think that uh, I've, I've also had really nice comments about how nice everyone is in the comment section so you know I know you guys are uh, a bit of like a light to each other as well so I wanted um, so in light of that I think that we could do a really nice um, special comment section for this video and just help people along the way so anyway, that is all for today. Uh, I hope that you like this idea and um, that we can go forward and do some really fun things. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be about... So, I'll just give you a little sneak peek here. I have some new brushes to share. So I got a couple of new brushes not knowing how they, you know, would work. I want to be able to share with you really nice things and I want to be able to make sure that what I'm sharing is, you know, the best out there. So, you know, sometimes you buy an art supply and you're dissatisfied with it or someone recommends something and when you get it, it's just not really up to par. So. I want to be able to make sure that what I am, uh, you know, recommending you is 
you know what's what's available that's really good and that you're not sort of wasting your money i don't want to keep um just giving you things to buy so we'll go over quite a lot of brushes but i'll give you my top five recommended ones and um spoiler alert these two are in them they they're really really nice so um i wasn't actually sure how either one would work and i really like them they're so tiny and really cute this one looks like a little mascara um and i got them both from jackson's uh and so is that everything i always uh do try and do these like quick videos and i think this has probably gone on a bit long now so but this is super gorgeous and this is beautiful. So I normally use the Escoda Reserva, which I still love and I still recommend. It's one of my top five. Where is it? Um, so, but this is absolutely beautiful as well. I was shocked when I uh, painted with it. So I will talk all about that in my next video. We'll still do some dark florals, but um, I'm just kind of having a little venture around them. So, um, I think that's everything and so i will announce the winner next not this saturday next and i will see you guys in my brush video bye oh and i also wanted to say i'm gonna make the the these paintings so i'm not gonna do them as prints but i'm gonna make them as printables in um so all the ones from the last collection will be printables in the shop so that you can print these out and like use them as little tip-ins or journaling cards um, in your planner or things like that.